Alright. Am I live? I can't tell. Yeah, I get everybody back on. Sorry, everybody. All right. Looks like we're getting someone back. We back? We're back. Uh, my bad, I get my it. bad. Rob bad. just wanted to move Sorry, rooms. Everybody. He just wanted to show off everything. <laughs> hey, yeah, my bad. Dude, thank you, everybody, for staying around. I'm sorry about that. All good, uh, man. Mike was saying that uh, uh, Meta's Twitch is taking up all the Wi-Fi. Dude, I, I have to go down to my office. I can't even get get time at the house. I got to put some lights on me now. I'm all in the shadows here, but but yeah. You, you yeah, still look. You still. I got. I got that damn dial up. I saw was. Running. You still look a little pixelated on my end. I don't know if you see that too. Uh, I do. Yeah, I see because you guys get. I know. Well, why don't you guys bring on? Let's see if, if Doctor Bobble's ready. I'll bring him on there, and then you guys start. I'll get some. Let's do it. Get some uh, lights on me here. Uh, let's see. Get Doctor Bobble on here. The good doctor. Let me invite him on there, see if he can get on. Our special guest this week. Is he on? All right, look at there. Hey, hey. As long as I don't screw it up. How are you guys? Hey, what's going on? What's up, Doc? Can you see me? No. Uh, no. I'm apparently having some. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> there we I just flip it around. <laughs> Told you I was new at this. Hey, hey pretty good. How are on, you? Man? Uh, good, good. I'm going to throw some lights on me real quick, but let me let me introduce you here. 510 Bobbles. I think you you, you know him uh, off of Twitter yeah. and everything. And uh, the Bobble Fool. Um, this is Dr. Bobble. Let me grab some lights so I don't look like How I'm you doing, man? Dark. How's everything yeah. going? Doing good. Doing good. It's late over here. Yeah, I know. I was, uh, I didn't realize it until I saw your post today on twitter i think when you're like i set my alarm for 10 and i'm like yeah hey. and we had mike on last week he's in new york yeah and, yeah I mean, we're we're like two weeks away from being doing this show during daylight still and you guys are yep. oh man we're wrapping up and it's uh almost midnight so yeah. yeah i'm sure it's i mean this is this is what those games against the dodgers felt like right <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true dude i've never <laughs> i've never understood like i know one time i was on the east coast uh the warriors were in the playoffs and i went to watch a game and i had to go watch it like the tip off was it was playoffs so it was delayed even more it was like 10 45 tip off and yeah. i was like dude how do these people like like how do they do it i don't understand like it's so late it's, it's crazy. wild it's wild and especially during the week too you know a, a game here that starts at you know 10 20 or 10 30 at night and then i have to get up and go to work the next morning yeah it's wild for sure i'll stop complaining about the like when, <laughs> when my teams are on the east coast and it's a 4 p.m first pitch i'll stop complaining about getting home in time to watch it i'd rather that's right fourth inning than uh, have to stay up till midnight to see a game yeah for sure so uh, I, I get that. Although it is, it is, it does get kind of difficult. Like when they had, I mean, we had playoff games. I want to say against the Brewers, we had a playoff game at like one or two o'clock in the afternoon, um, which is is uh, it's difficult to yeah, get to get to the stadium and stuff. But. I know it's uh, <laughs> the, the A's are uh, two years ago when the A's were in the playoffs. They you know they get the short end of the stick always, and that's <laughs> that was the and mm. we had these like eleven. 11 o'clock starts every every game it seemed like like and it was like and because you know i'm trying not, not to let my boss know that i'm watching the game from home but i'm watching the game from home and, <laughs> yeah yeah so what are you gonna do <laughs> um hey i want to ask you uh how long have you been collecting yeah so i got my first um let's see actually my first stadium giveaway bobblehead 15 um, which now, given all the news that's that's come out, I'm a little embarrassed to say it was a Matt Harvey from the University of North Carolina. 
So, um, so my, my name is, I go by Dr. Bobble. I do, I have a PhD from the university of North Carolina. So I was a student there, um, which meant free tickets to the baseball game, which meant free bobbleheads when they would do, um, when they would do those giveaways. So yeah, my first ever one was, uh, was on Matt Harvey bobblehead night, which was pretty cool. That's awesome. So I got Yeah, I gotta actually, find... AGP did those. They're, they're actually kind of minis. I don't have one within arm's reach, but um, the most of those have been AGP and they're minis. Kind of cool. That's awesome. I, I got a fun fact for you that nobody's going to really care about. Um, so if you started in 2015, <laughs> I actually started collecting Braves bobbleheads in 2000. Was it 2002 when they gave the first ones out or 2001? 2001. Okay, so yep. for the first, I grew up a Braves and ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I even to this day in my parents uh, in my bedroom at my parents' house, I've got a tomahawk painted on the ceiling that they Love it. don't like, but they don't paint over it. But yeah, so I I collected <laughs> Braves bobbleheads for the first. I collected all the way up. I think it was two thousand five when they gave the first one was a Tim Hudson bobblehead. Yeah, and I was two thousand eight. I think. Oh, is that, okay. So I was pissed yeah. that the A's had traded him that uh, oh. collecting him, and then I wow. ended up selling them all off. But that's I collected funny. Braves bobbleheads before you did. You did, yeah. I mean, you <laughs> did. I actually I joined pretty late in the game, and uh, it it was a hobby that started uh, kind of slowly. I maybe my first year I got three or four bobbleheads, and then it just exploded. <laughs> that's awesome. How many do you have now? Um, I think I just tipped 500, so I'm just over 500, um, about 280 to 290, um, nice. and then the rest are a smattering, uh, and then that's majors, minors, retail, um, and the rest are a smattering of, of other things that are meaningful. Um, I, with all the time I spent in North Carolina, I collected a handful of North Carolina teams. Um, I've started a little bit of a mascot collection. I've got a random Han Solo collection. Um, which is kind of random, but you know, it, yeah. why not? You know, Very cool. um, so yeah, just a bunch of kind of random stuff. I did start to try to pick up, um, Braves players and other uniforms. So like I have one of the old Hudson A's. Um, it's one of my few A's bobbleheads actually. Oh, nice. Man. Yeah. I love Tim Hudson. My kid's named after Tim Hudson actually. Dude. So, That's so funny. my question for you and, and you, cause I, I saw photos of your collection so is that like yeah. in a separate room from everything else that's in your place or is that like the main living room? Yeah, so it's our basement actually. Nice. So when uh, when my wife and I went looking for a house, um one of the one of the things we had to have is I wanted some space that I could display the collection. Um and we we got this space. This the basement was, is fully finished, really really large space and I was like, "Wow, it'll take me a little while to um you know, to fill this out. And we've been here for almost two years and I've pretty much filled it out. I don't have much room to grow. Um, but yeah, so I'm in one, I'll give you just a little bit. So I'm in one room that's, so we, I keep a lot of my, our special stuff here. So I'll sign um, bobblehead, some of the stuff that really is meaningful. I love collecting things that have a story, something I can stand and tell you, this is how I got it and why it's meaningful. So a lot of that stuff goes there. And then I've got a uh, big chipper is saying hi right there. Damn, that's um, awesome. And then I've got a separate room that has my detolfs. I've got a couple of billies. I've got a big um, Ikea Calyx. And actually just delivered today, I had two more billy cases that I've got to find time to put together. Because the Braves, they, they went and won the World Series. <laughs> and yep. Foco went out absolutely nuts so i i said i was like there's no way foco is going to do what they did to dodgers fans there's no way that they're going to do that to us but i am now sitting on something like i think 40 bobbleheads on pre-order from foco right now Dude, that's <laughs> my wife's watching it's not 40 it's not 40 oh, yeah. yeah yeah um <laughs> that's great so yeah uh, it's 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 been really Dude. fun um and it just keeps growing just wait until Foco gets into the moments bobbleheads with the Braves, and it's gonna more stuff are coming. Just I'm just saying that's yeah. what they, 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 so, they did to us. 
So they've been doing that every week. They've been releasing one or two of these moments bobbleheads. I talked, I, I'm going to take a little bit of credit for this. Okay. So I kept bugging their, um, their social media person. And I was like, Hey, you can't keep releasing these one week at a time. Like we're, we're paying out the butt for shipping. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't want to give all my money to FedEx. So they actually came through and offered a package of all, I think it's 15 of them, all 15 of them in one package and they'll ship them all together. And they cut like 200 bucks off the price of if you bought them individually. I was like, dang, that's a deal. That worked out well for me. I, <laughs> I, wish, I, I wish they did that with us, man. When they came out with the Los Dodgers uh, uh, jerseys, they, they released <laughs> them all at once. And I, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I was, I was very, very upset. A lot of Dodger fans, they're like, yeah. has released them all at once. And obviously, you know, people, if they got them all at once together, the shipping was yep. still really high. They never bundled everything from what I... But they I'm, sold out like that. They sold out quickly, yeah. I mean, not as fast as I thought they would, but because okay. I, I, I think it was still a week into the 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 release of those bobbleheads that I was able to still kind of oh, okay. get some here and there. So they didn't release day That's one. Cool. They didn't sell out day one. I think it was might have been day four or five that they sold out, maybe in a week a week later at that's at that point a lot of dodger fans were like they're kind of just over it a lot of like the, the real collectors they're just like you yeah. know what i'm just gonna get the the, the player that i like so right. yeah yeah i i kept yeah can, oh, you, can you guys hear me or yeah what? i kept telling myself that oh. i was gonna say oh, I, was, go I kept ahead, telling ahead. myself that i was gonna do that that i'm just gonna pick up the ones i really like and then i was like but but what if <laughs> what what if i i regret that later and maybe I should just go ahead and get them now, and then I can trade them away if I really should get them all now, right? That's the direction I went. Yeah, that's you and many other people. Is a lot of people flipping them? Are there people flipping them? I mean, it looks like yeah, a lot. I, I see there. a lot of them listed on eBay. There's not a lot that shows up in the sold listings, though. So there's there's a lot of eager flippers, but not a lot of 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 dumb buyers i don't know but a lot of them are still for sale so like you'll see someone like foco will launch something and then um you know someone will buy up a bunch put them on ebay for three times the price but they're still for sale on foco and occasionally you'll see somebody bite on those but it's like what right. are you what are you doing why like what nah. it's so i mean it's one thing if you yeah it's yeah, one thing if you're a year or two down the road and you know the money. demand goes way up and then it's hard to find like that's one thing but if they're still for sale, what are you doing? Right. Yeah. I, I, I always urge people to yeah. look yeah. at Fanatics, yeah. go through Foco, go through MLBShop.com. Yeah. Head Hall, they have Bobblehead Hall. The, the, left, yeah. the, the leftovers. I always tell people, before you spend all your money on eBay, go to these other off-sites. You, know, you might get it for cheaper. Like uh, Fanatics. Yep. Uh, had the Rams bobbleheads and uh, I, I saw that they had free shipping or whatever. Shipping. Yeah, you know, and, and that's something that we we like we hate paying so much in shipping. It's like why not take advantage of the free shipping? Um, yeah, no, for the great right. World Series, I had them on sale. The shipping thing's crazy. For like five bucks cheaper than Foco did. They didn't have yeah. all of the players, but they had all the main players, and they were even cheaper there. Um, so yeah, you, you just gotta look around. But see, I've not had wow. to, I've not faced that very much. I have really up until this year, I've been pretty like anti retail. Um, like I really just I, I have a couple of retail bobbles I've picked up here or there, but um, it's only been this year that I've really gotten into um, you know bringing some focos into the house, and and then of course all the focos into the house. But you know normally with stadium giveaways, you have to either go to like the Facebook message boards or you go to um, you know, go to eBay or whatnot. So that ends up being a pain, but that's how it goes. So, so how do we get a life size? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so <laughs> this is, uh, let me, I'm going to bring him closer so you can really get a sense. So this is, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's like, it's like, it, it is absolutely room, and it's so I'm going to bring him. Let me see if I can bring him right close real quick. Our new oh my God. Wow. Share the yeah. screen with me. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Dude. Someone take oh, a picture man. of this right I, now. This is her. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Dude. Yeah. So, wow. um, okay. So this is big chipper. Um, the Atlanta Braves put in a big order for to AGP. So he's made by AGP. 
Um, the Braves put in an order to get a, I think they got a chipper, a Bobby, um, I think it's, it's a Dale Murphy, a Smoltz, um, maybe there's, there's, there's maybe a couple of more that, that they got that are this size. Well, when they made the chipper, they made two because they wanted one of them to take around to conferences to show other teams, hey, we can do this for your team. And I know that there's a bunch of teams that have, you know, that have bit. And I think the Cardinals have like a Yachty that's this size. And I've seen other ones around. Um, a couple of years of, of, pushing, uh, of pushing it all around the U.S. to conferences. Um, it finally went back to their warehouse and sat there for a little while. And so um, AGP reached out and was like, hey, we have this thing. And then we, we, we worked it out. One of the things I'm hoping to do with it at some point, um, I, was, I, I started working on plans for it, and it didn't, it didn't work out. And I needed it in hand to get a sense of what I could do with it. But I really want to take this guy out of the house. I don't think he needs to like, live in my basement all the time. My hope is that I can actually take him to some of the like uh, youth um, baseball tournaments and things around here to let other people like take pictures and stuff with him. Um, unfortunate. So my, what I thought I could do is I thought I was handy enough to be able to like take the head off because if it, if the head would come off temporarily or have some sort of snapping mechanism, then it could actually fit into my wife's um, uh, SUV and, and we could do that kind of thing. But uh, uh, learning how, the spring is in there that's not really a possibility there so i think we'll have to either get a trailer or something um that will that will go but when he came to me he was delivered to me fedex and he came in this giant wood coffin that's as big as my car wow. um, absolutely bonkers i have pictures on my twitter if you guys want to dig through uh but it's absolutely bonkers how how gigantic this thing because it was literally just like you get a bobblehead it was a giant giant pieces of styrofoam in this coffin and then he was laying in this wooden <laughs> coffin um in the in the styrofoam it was it was wild and he he's on casters Dude, that I'm about to call. i i love her so awesome I love that thing, man. That yeah, thing is pretty too. badass, That's dude. Awesome. You got lie, I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, jealous of, of that bobblehead, man. They need to. Oh, in, envy! I'm so damn envious, dude. I, like I can't even stand myself, dude. Yep. It's so amazing. Yep. So I, I haven't yet, but I need to get him a little I love that size so uh, um, World Series T-shirt to put on him. Um, I'm gonna start dressing him up like for Christmas as an elf yeah. or something. Yeah, is he in, he's got to be in like your, oh, yeah, yeah. your Christmas card. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, you know, I don't think he's made that. Brittany, write, write that idea down. I, I think that's, right idea. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. The, the funny thing is, is a lot of people that like I like work with and even family and stuff, I've not quite let my like weird flag fly around them way too much. So a lot of people see like your all your, your brave <laughs> stuff and then they're like, what is that? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's, a, that's a talking piece for dude, sure. Dude, oh, I mean, I, dude your, your, your collection is beautiful, but that damn thing You're just right. like, oh, man, yep. that thing is just unreal, dude. That's awesome. Oh, it's crazy. Yep. I love it. Yeah. So I, I do want to show off, if, if we have time for so a second, I want to show off real quickly. Um, I had, I've teased on Twitter a little stop i teased on twitter a little bit um uh my metal day recently from foco so back in august foco launched a whole line yeah. of braves in the retro jerseys and um and they actually came in this week and i'm super excited oh, about nice. it so i won't take a lot of time um and actually during the during while while you were no, fixing man. your wi-fi i actually pulled a it's couple sweet. out of the box and put them together so we didn't take so much time <laughs> but this is what it came the way it came in the box so yeah. um they're in their retro jerseys absolutely love it what a gorgeous the sides of the boxes have have the yeah, they are have the feather which which i just absolutely Beautiful. absolutely love and then i've never seen them do this maybe they have before but the back of the back of the box looks like their jersey which is kind of cool that's awesome. nice so I'll show off my Beautiful. Ronald Acuna because I think it's my favorite of all of them. Um, he started in 20, I guess it was 20, um, 2019 or 2020 using the yellow, his yellow bands and yellow gloves, which really on bobbleheads make, they just oh, absolutely awesome. pop. So the, um, so the background, uh, you can't see it super well from the way that they place the logos, but the background's supposed to be like the Atlanta skyline. Mm. And then, and then have the feather sticking up here out of the middle. Can you with lift their it a number on bit, the side? Can you lift it a little bit? Yep. Higher? Sorry. There you go. Yep. 
Yep. That's cool. That's cool. Man, that's, that's a beautiful cool. piece. It's just absolutely beautiful. So they came out with five all at once. So they came out with an Acuna. They came out with a Freddy, um, an Ozzy, and then a Danzy Swanson. I am so thrilled with this set. Uh, I've been awesome. waiting since August for it to come out. And this was even before they, they won the World Series. So um, I've... That's what I was going to say, dude. You already had that set up. You already had all freaking set you're prior right. to the damn thing. That's so jealous, dude. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm at Envy, 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 bro. That's yeah. sick, dude. Those are hella nice. You, you guys got the, like, uh, what's the, the chipper in the three different, in the three different jerseys? They, they, uh, like a red, I think it's chipper, right? Yeah, so they did a, um, a stadium giveaway of Hank Aaron in three different jerseys. And then Foco did a couple of years ago an Andrew but, Jones, not a Chipper Jones. I think that's what you're talking about. They did an Andrew Jones that's oh, Andrew, absolutely Andrew. beautiful. Oh, yeah. um, where actually, I'm going to grab it. Hold up. We're going to grab it. I love that piece. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to look for that, that, that photo on Twitter where um, he's saying that he has a box or whatnot. I'm trying to look for it. Dude, so check this out. Yeah. It's got yeah. it's got all Those of Andrew Jones awards. It's got his Hank Aaron award here, his silver That's slugger, cool. and then his ten gold gloves stacked here. Which when they came, these gold gloves, a lot of them were actually broken off or the they weren't glued down very well, but they were easy fixes. Um and beautiful, go, beautiful three. pieces. So they they did a set of three. They did one in the white jersey and then they did one in these same retro jerseys as well. I, I did pick up all three. I know you yeah, agree those, with those me, but, uh, those are clean. I love those. He's a Hall of Famer. He is 100%. 100%. He's got it. He yeah. is. Um, I think this was his sixth or seventh year. So the, here's the thing. I'm hoping that Albert Pujols will play for one more year because if he <laughs> retires today, he's going to end up on the ballot during Andrew's last year, and I don't want that. Ooh. Well, oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's got to get in. He's, he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, you know, people look at his. The biggest thing is his career went downhill at the very end, very, very quickly. And our Dodgers fan here knows that uh, firsthand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yep. but if when he was in his prime, he yeah. was the best center fielder in the game, and he's uh, he's widely considered one of the best defensive center center fielders of the game. If you're called the best anything of the game. Put him in the Hall of Fame. Just put yep. him in the Hall of Fame. Yep. Exactly. It's that easy. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree. You guys are spoiled out there, man. You guys got you guys get a lot of good talent and everything. I, I love you guys have a great organization. I love it. And we've got a I'm we've jealous. got a great promise too. I mean, we've got guys like Acuna and Ozzy that are on crazy contracts that we have locked up for the next, you know, six, seven years. And it's it's gonna be a good time. Hey, so <laughs> Well, what are you going to give it for, for Olsen? <laughs> what are you going to oh, give it for good, Olsen? It depends on if Freddy's in pinstripes or not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. But he's a Georgia boy, dude. He, he, he wants to go Let's back see. out there. I don't know. Oh, I well, like Olsen. I, like, I, like, I, I would become an Olsen fan real quick. And what about Jock? Was it isn't Jock on a one oh, year? Yeah. Or, 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 uh... Yeah, so, so Jock's, Jock's gone. Jock, Jock was just a rental. Um, I kind of think that Jock's going to go to the highest bidder, and the Braves will never be the highest bidder on anybody. Yeah. Um, so so I, I really feel like Jock's yeah. going to go somewhere else, and he's probably going to go somewhere else and win them a World Series too. This Our team, like in June, July, we had like the saddest team in the majors. We had this – I don't know yeah. if you guys know, but we yeah. had this streak. I want to say it was like 24 games where we win, loss, win, loss, yep. win, loss, win, loss. I mean, for a month. And it was it was so sad. It was clear in the interviews that you know things were just. It was a sad clubhouse. And then everyone attributed that when Jock came in, he was he like he's what brought this clubhouse to another level. Everyone was excited again. I don't think we win that World Series without Jock, and that's even with it, without what he did on the field. Hey, he, he brought he he brought that that chemistry, I think, and he also brought that experience. He was already hot from coming in, you know, the year prior. Uh, winning the World Series, so bringing that type of energy in, I mean, yep. yeah, I mean, he wanted to come in and win a real yeah. World Series across a full season. I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna say because, something, but I'm gonna just be quiet. You, no, you're a no, guest. If it, 
if it were me on that other side and if we could have won game five, game six, or game seven, I would be defending it all day long. So, yeah, you know, 100%, 100%. I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good. It's all love, all love. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, you, you're you're right. We we really do need to lock down Rosario and Soler. I would really love to see both of them come back. It's pretty nuts that you yeah, guys reached that level of success too without Acuna. Yeah, yeah. like you're yeah. you're gonna add one of the top three players in the yeah. game to the World Series roster, the team that just won the World Series. That's pretty scary. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> It's exciting as heck. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see if we even have some baseball on this year, man. We, I, I think we will, right. but very late into the season. Hopefully, be ho, ho, hopefully, hopefully, uh, like Marco was saying the other day, uh, by opening day. But we'll see what happens. I, yeah. I don't know, dude. I can't imagine them dragging this on much longer. It's not good for. It's not good for anybody, the owners or the players. Well, I'm encouraged that that both sides are agreeing to meet on a daily basis this week. They met Monday. They met mm-hmm. yesterday, or they met today. They're going to meet tomorrow. So, at the very least, it's better than we were back in December, where nobody heard from anybody for weeks and weeks and weeks. So, so there, there's at least a push from both sides to actually get something done, and that that makes me happy. I, I think uh, there's a, a Twitter out put out yeah. by the B. I'm not sure that. By the 26th, they want to make a decision or something like that. If not the 26th or the 28th, one of those two dates. Yeah, because Manfred wants four weeks of spring training. Manfred thinks that they can get get away with exactly four weeks. So we'll we'll see. I don't know. Part of me thinks that the players don't mind missing this much spring training anyways. That's Uh, true. I mean, they've long talked about it being too long. You know, so I – I've gone to every single yeah, spring right. training except for last year or the year before because of the whole COVID stuff. And, I mean, to me, just like uh, as a fan going into, you know, the Cactus League and, look, you know, bouncing from stadium to stadium, I mean, yeah. the players genuinely look very happy. They look like they're able to be themselves. You know, they're, they're not really <laughs> hiding behind the camera. They're saying hi to everyone. <laughs> They're literally face to face with with people, and it, yeah. they interact with everyone. So it, it's, I don't know. I think the players are missing it because it's like the Maybe. the time where they they can be themselves. Yeah, no, I don't doubt yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I that, agree. That's for sure. I guess it's not and, like I, and I get the idea of try, trying to build some team chemistry as well before it actually matters. Like that is really important. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. I, I, it just they they they're losing momentum like crazy, in my opinion, and it just sucks because you know every. I mean, it, it's nice. I, it, the, the Braves winning, everybody winning. You know, different. I don't know. I it just to me, they're losing a hell of momentum, and it's just killing this damn thing. But yeah, whatever. It sucks. I lose momentum because I lost the internet too <laughs> earlier. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so, so. hey, hey, so what's up? What? Let, let's see some of your okay, custom yeah. work, dude. I you're 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 a legit custom bobblehead, right, dude. I, I love your work, man. And and I want to see I want to see the uh, the mod oh, dude, that's custom, actually up in my watch craft room. Um, so my wa- yeah, no, you're good. My so my oh, wife no, works not. just to mention that my wife works for um a crafting company named Plaid, and they make all um like folk art paint. Paints and oh, apple nice. barrel paints and all of that yeah, jazz. Yeah. And so they actually yeah. paid me to make them a bobblehead. So I 3D printed legs. So they have this mascot called Glossy. And actually, my yeah. wife would dress up as Glossy for conferences and stuff. Um, but so they they actually have this mascot. And so I 3D printed it entirely. 3D printed um, the base and then the top and uh, and put a spring on it. And they loved it. And they actually gave one away in a in some kind of a contest uh, that they had a couple of years ago. So. Uh, what some of my customs? So, oh, yeah. um, let's see a few that I've. I think your your wife's gonna bring down the. <laughs> yeah, she ahead. could if, if if you want, Brittany. Brittany. Um, okay, so, coming through. So he. Oh, I hear the door open. She's she's a coming. I know. She's I know. Coming. So I think this is this is one of my favorite ones that I've done. Um, and actually, this is this is technically. Um, this is technically a copy from uh, something that I, I put my own little spin on it, but there was another collector that, that made one really similar to this. But I loved I, – I used some of the folk art metallic for the batting helmet. It really made it shine. And then, and then the big thing oh, yeah, I added cool. to it was the four baseballs down here at the bottom. So this was really to commemorate his four home run game. 
Um, and so I wanted, awesome. I wanted to add that That's in cool. there. Um, I did that before, before he spent his like short cup of coffee with us. Um, I made, I took the Orioles, Kevin Gossman and, and put him into, Very cool. um, into one of those. <laughs> Let's see, where did all my customs go? I need to. That's clean. Uh, but yeah, I, I've got a few more i did this um i took an a um an aller bosky and um from uh the cardinals and actually put him in a in a braves uniform which was which nice. is pretty neat i've i've not really uh, nice. i've not done any yeah, projects yeah, in a while that. i'm actually mid project a project i'm super excited about that you know it uses a, a whole, whole bunch of different um you know mediums from resin and um, and it's, it's, it's been one of my bigger projects nice. and then I've, I lost steam on it. So, but I need to pick it back up. So, uh, so no, that's cool. I just, yeah, you, you do great, you do great no, work. Dude, so I just wanted no, to I appreciate yeah, that. Kind of so how does that one go about right acquiring there. a Dr. Bobble bobblehead, a custom, a custom piece? <laughs> that's, there you go. that's an interesting piece. So I, I think that there's only a small handful of people out there who have a Dr. Bobble bobblehead. And in almost all cases, they were a custom for a custom trade. Um, uh, so that's, that's generally, I, I generally don't sell. There's, there's only a small number of people that I've uh, like done like a consignment piece for or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly, I, so when I, anytime I do a custom, I try to do two or three of them. And then I'll find other collectors and stuff. So I've got a bunch. There's there's a really fantastic guy on Twitter. His name's Bama Bobble. That I think he's probably got yeah. a couple. He's got definitely got a couple of mine. He's he does phenomenal work. I think I started customing before him, and then I taught him some of my tricks, and he ran straight past me. He's taught me a whole whole bunch. Actually, one one more I want to show off if you'll if you'll let me. Um, Oh uh, yeah, Bama Ball is my boy. I love Bama Ball. That guy, I try to get him on here and stuff, and try. I, he's a little not confident and stuff, but he does great work, and he he loves you, dude. He's he gets credit dude, you for everything, but dude's awesome. That. Okay, I so that. I have this Charlie Culberson right here. Um, he's he's in a little case. I'll take his little case off. So I took a Tampa Bay, um, gosh, what was it, Logan Forsyth, and um, added hair. To the back of it, I used a three oh, D three nice. D print pen. Can oh, you guys yeah. see that? Okay, yeah. So I yeah. used a, I used a three D print pen yeah. to give him some like curly hair in the back Very and cool. painted him up. Nice. Um, and so I made that, and um, and then I actually found a way. I made a second one, and I found a way to get it to Charlie. Um, and so Charlie Culberson is one of the few people out there with a with a Doctor Bobble custom. So that's Very cool. The reason why the reason. Why I ask is because oh, exactly. I, I'm huge yeah. on um, supporting, uh, you know, custom bobblehead uh, makers or whatnot. So there's oh, really? uh, there's several pieces in my collection that are custom pieces, and uh, you know, there's different variants of what other people make of for what, whichever bobblehead it may be. And if I like it, I, I ask folks, hey, you know, can you guys make me one? Sometimes they say yes, sometimes yeah. they say no. So hopefully one day yeah. we can be blessed by a doctor. Uh, yeah. bobble custom bobblehead yeah let's we can figure out something to collaborate on we can that sounds fun to me i need to get back in it like cause i probably for the last year or so it's gone really slowly for me work and everything is, has got me um got me down a bit but i i i really need to find time and i've got i've got plenty of space i've got i've got lots of tools um i i sometimes will incorporate things like 3d printed stuff into my into my um bobbleheads so one example um and it's a signed bobblehead i have is of adam duvall so I, the Reds did him to Vol Bobblehead. I painted him up in a Braves uniform and, and took it to um, – we had our fan fest to have him sign. And one of the cool things I did, and, and Adam loved it, is I 3D printed a very, very tiny box and put it in his back pocket um, because he's a diabetic and he carries an insulin pump with oh, him cool. um, everywhere he goes, including on the field. And so he thought it was super cool that I put an insulin pump on there for him. Uh, and so he signed it for me. And, and that, so it's, cool. it's one of my favorite ones as well. Hey, I have a question. So I, I don't I love know what it. this is like um, since it's been so long, but coming off of a World Series victory, what has have, have <laughs> the Braves released their SGA giveaway schedule yet? Um, they released some of it. So it's actually funny. They released some of it back in um, in November and uh, before the lockout. 
And then when they hit the lockout, everything that was related to a current player, they ripped. Yeah. Um, so one thing I want to just take a second and plug, if you guys don't mind. Please. So there's a there's a Facebook group I absolutely love. It's called The Bar. Um, Nick Carbs, a lot of a lot of you guys know Nick. I don't know if he's on on here or not. Um, but we're actually planning a we're calling it the Bar Bash, and um, we're gonna have a group as many bobblehead collectors as we can come down to Atlanta. It's on Labor Day weekend. It's the Friday night game of Labor Day weekend. They're doing a Ronald Acuna bat flip bobblehead oh, stadium awesome. giveaway so that was one that they announced it's not related to the world series or anything like that because i think they had it in the in the in the making before they actually did that but it's an absolutely beautiful bobblehead it's going to be a wild and really fun um friday night and we've secured some tickets for a really good price down near the field um and and so if, if anyone's interested feel free to reach out to me i'll get you connected with carbs um but it's september 2nd that's a friday night Hopefully we have baseball approved and they don't <laughs> shuffle the season around. That'll be the worst thing is if they decide to shuffle their promotions or shuffle games around. But it's going to be a really cool, um, really cool Friday night Ronald Acuna Stadium giveaway. But some of the other giveaways that they have, they have like they're doing the Maddox, Lavin, and Smoltz trio of them holding their Cy Youngs. That's awesome. Me personally, I think that's super boring. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm tired <laughs> of everyone doing the Maddox, Lavin, Smoltz trio. I mean, you know, I. That I, that that I think makes the fourth stadium giveaway set that the Brave system has done of Maddox Slavin, and we have so many young guys, so many awesome guys on our roster that we could spend that time, you know, uh, or take that space using. But they're doing one of the freeze, which is kind of one of our between any oh, yeah. uh, uh, things. I don't know what to call. I don't want to call it a show, but basically, this oh, guy yeah. gets out there in a you know full body suit and and races people who are actually really fast. Um, and so it's they're doing a bobblehead of the freeze. I think they they have a really cool um, HBCU night promotion. It's a drum major. It's way different than anything I've ever seen. So that's um, that's really cool. Uh, and then they promised that they've not released the other half, um, which will in theory be World Series related. So right. that's awesome. We'll see what happens. That's, yeah, it's 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 a pretty cool setup. Must be nice. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I was say that's. that's Another half is amazing. Shit, that's, yeah. that's awesome, dude. That so, hey, what, hey, uh, I talking like Bama Bobble. He always wants wants to do a, a Fred McGriff. Uh, that, you you guys never had one, right? I think you guys a Bobble Fred, Fred McGriff. McGriff. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, you're good. You're, Sorry. So, so you're, you're right. Gonna... We we don't have a bobblehead of Fred McGriff. The only McGriff bobbleheads I know of is there's a Dodgers one, which I have. Um, beautiful, big, heavy thing. Yeah, those and are then cool. I think I think the Tampa Bay Rays did a double bobblehead that had Fred McGriff on it. Now I will say, not everybody knows this. Um, I I tend to stay in pretty good with my rep, and you know, talking about you know, what's coming. So every year, the Bra of the past few years, the Braves have given away um, a specific bobblehead for the state or for the uh, season ticket holders. So the first year was back in, I think it was the first year in the stadium. So 2018, it was a, it was a Hank Aaron in his rookie uniform, which was great. The year after that, they did a Necro. The year after that, they did a cool set of Eddie Matthews in, in all of a Boston, Milwaukee and Atlanta uniform. Well, anyway, I, for 2020, we had a, a member outing during the off season and I was kind of poking and prodding. Because they sent us a, um, a, a, a poll for season ticket holders to vote to say, this is the bobblehead I would like to have this year. Well, they were doing it for a 1995 um, celebration because it, it was supposed to be, what, 25 years um, since we had won the World Series in 95. And so one of the options was Fred McGriff. And I was told that the voting was really close between a David Justice and a Fred McGriff bobblehead. Braves have already done David Justice, and that is one thing that my rep was saying. And she was like, "We're going to try to do both of them." Wow. And then COVID hit. Yeah. So they were going to try to make both of them to give to us, and then wow. we lost it. So we were almost at the cusp of a McGriff one, and then it didn't happen. Ah, uh, you guys need a crime dog. That's yeah, that's crazy. That's got to happen. It it does have to happen. I mean, dude's a hall, dude's a hall of fame. Oh yeah. Too. Um. All right, so since Brittany brought this down, I want to show it off real quick before we uh, before we move too much further. So this is the um, 
this is the the bobblehead I did of the mascot <laughs> glossy. So I, love I, that, um, I printed the base. I pr I printed the legs. So this is actually the first generation. The one that they ended up giving away, the legs aren't quite so as blocky as they are here. I think mm. I actually made these this out of the legs out of Sculpey clay because I didn't know how to three D model legs. Um, I figured it out though. And so then I, I made little arms, which I think I stole some Mr. Potato Head arms to three D print off the internet. And then I literally, it's made perfectly to size of a Mod Podge bottle. So I actually stole the cap off a Mod Podge bottle and put it on there. But yeah, so that's that's my first ever glossy bobblehead that I literally created from absolutely nothing. So that was that was pretty neat. Yeah, I love that's it. Awesome. I love it. Yeah, I love that. I, I, I remember when you showed that for the first time. Memories. Yeah, no, it it, it I was it was really really fun to make. I so I love doing that kind of thing. I I love the three D modeling aspect. It just takes so stinking so much stinking time. Um, How much time does that, that one take? Um, let's see. To design, I mean, it probably took me two weeks of working an hour or two every night, kind of mm -hmm. to to tweak it and get it right. That was, that's kind of when I was getting the legs and everything right. To actually print this whole uh, the parts that were printed probably took somewhere about 18 hours to print about that size. Yeah. Um, so, and it's, it's actually, it's really light. Cause I mean, it's just like the, the PLA uh, material and then uh plaid actually for me. So it's a real label that, that, um, that comes from, from one of the bobbles. So they gave me that. Very nice. Yeah. I had one of my buddies uh, 3d print me one of these. I love it. So I oh, love it. Yeah. Yeah. With, with this piece here, it's two separate yeah. pieces. I, I can't take it out now cause it's, he put it together. They so it slid together. Yeah, yeah, it slid in. Um, That's so, cool. Yeah, th this actually took him, I think, oh. um, uh, twenty-two hours just because he had yeah. to get the outline and then this and then. Yeah, yeah it took him. It took so him a while. Intricate. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a while, and then the most Brilliant. recent toy I've been playing with, I've got a laser engraver that's it's blown up a little bit over the last couple of days, but I've I took. Actually, you might be able to see it on the wall by Chipper over here. So I took little wooden cutting boards and I, I um, engraved the box score for each of the World Series games into it. Um, and then uh, John Boy's uh, podcast, Talking Baseball, picked it up and retweeted it out. So it's, That's awesome. it's gotten a lot of attention. Well, nice. I've actually got a couple of Hell requests yeah. from a couple of players uh, to, to print a couple out. So we'll, we'll nice. hopefully work on that over the next few days. Very cool. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's congrats. congrats. Yeah. That's hella cool. Thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. So the uh, so some of the other questions, yeah, we used to generally ask you like what um you know I mean well like are, so how many big clusters are there in Atlanta? Like I mean you're obviously one of the biggest. Right? I, I, I would like to say there are. So we've we've got a a pretty close knit group I think of of bobblehead collectors that that collect to collect that okay. don't collect necessarily to sell or, or whatnot like if if you go to a game there'll be tons and right. tons of people there a lot of people do pick them up to sell them or whatever which you know is their prerogative i suppose um but in turn but there's there's a pretty good community i think of, of bobblehead collectors not a whole lot are on twitter or spend much time on twitter i think that that's where um i've i've been able to make my mark at least is is in in putting together a nice little um, little community of Braves collectors or Braves fans, um, you know, that, that, and, and shout out to everyone who, who came over from Twitter. Um, and, and so that, I think that there's, there's a lot of people like that. There are definitely people who I envy their collection. I mean, there's some guys like Bobby Myers, um, and, 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 you know, other, other folks, I I'll miss somebody if I start to name everyone, um, who, who like have no, no, every because my goal is I want to have every stadium giveaway bobblehead that's Braves related, whether it is um you know whether it's given away by the big league club or minor league clubs or legacy minor league clubs, um and I'm well on my way. I think I'm at in, at a percentage point. I'm right at ninety percent. I think I have ninety percent of all the the Braves stadium giveaway and Braves system is what I call it. Brave system stadium giveaways. Um, but the ones I have left are the ones that like, haven't shown up on eBay in like five years. Um, minor league ones, probably. So, right? yeah, yeah, it's all minor league. So what's the what's the grail? Yeah, what's so grail one of that? one of my favorite grails, uh, and I can go find it if you want, is the um, is the Acuna Matata. So the Danville mm. Braves back in 2019 
gave away. It's oh, yeah, an Andrew yeah, yeah, Jones, yeah. which I'm a huge Andrew Jones fan, huge Andrew Jones fan. But it's Andrew Jones holding up Acuna like the Lion King yeah, pose, yeah, yeah. and so they and they yeah, call it Acuna yeah, Matata. Yeah, yeah. And so those those tend to be really, really, really difficult to find. Um, there aren't too many real. I mean, I it depends on what you determine as grails. Like some of the harder to find at actual Atlanta ones are things like the Sid slides. And they tend to be ones that are that describe moments, right? Like the Sid slides from the 1992 NLCS, yeah. um, where you know where Barry Bonds had too weak of an arm to get Sid Bream out. Um, you know, there's also one of of Chipper Jones and Freddie Freeman um, kind of hugging on a uh, on an ATV because Chipper Jones says Freddie Freeman was stuck in traffic when a snowstorm hit Atlanta. When a snowstorm hits Atlanta, the whole city just goes berserk. So this was one of those instances, and Chipper Jones took his little ATV out and rescued Freddie Freeman, and so they made a bobblehead of that moment. And so that's another one of the Atlanta ones that tends to be hard to get. But then, uh, but. You, this, you have like minor league ones that are like super rare, right? Th those are the big time yeah, grails. There's some minor league some, ones, right? Uh, there, there aren't too many that would reach like like a grail across, you know, uh, across different teams. Like I think of something that's like five hundred bucks and above is generally the way I think about that. Yeah. Um, so the Acuna yeah. Matata tends to be one like yeah. that. There really aren't too many others that were actual okay. stadium giveaways. There are a few prototypes floating around that are considered as grails that maybe. You know, N of one, N of two. I've got a, um, I've got a Bobby Cox. So I don't know exactly what happened, but it was in that same season as the um, Tim Hudson, I think, that you had mentioned earlier, that um, that they made a Bobby Cox. But for some reason, that bobblehead's the only one out of that whole year made by AGP. Hmm. So something went wrong in the bobblehead production process that the company that was supposed to make all of them for that season um, wasn't able to make the Bobby Cox. But there's a prototype floating out there that actually looks very different than the one that was actually done. And so I do have one of those. Nice. Um, it's it's hard to put a value on oh, it uh, because the one I have is the only one I've ever seen sold. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, but really, there, there aren't too many grails in terms of being really high priced. But there's things that don't show up very often. So like Myrtle Beach has um, three different mascot bobbleheads. And you never see them pop up anywhere. I have one of them, but I've been looking for the other two for years, and I've never seen anything pop up. Um, so I think oh, it's yeah. a splish, a splash, and squirt. I think splish, splash, mm. and squirt are their three mascots. Um, so the mascots tend to be high demand, but even then, I mean, from a point, people often can sell them anywhere from you know a hundred, hundred and fifty. You know, you might get up to 300 for something like the trustee from Mississippi. So I guess the mascots tend to be harder to find. Yeah. Are you a part of any of the, the Facebook mascot yeah. groups uh, that are out there? You know, you know, I'm not in any of the ma actual mascot groups. I probably need to join some of that. Yeah, I tend to join, be more, more of the regional groups. But Join, join some of yeah, those. Join, join some of those. I'm pretty sure you, you're going to be able to find them because there, there's, there's a community for – Every single type of bobblehead, and it, you know, through my my buddy Frank and my buddy Kevin, they're the ones that told yeah. me, hey, join that group, join that group, because I, I collect everything myself. I have a whole yeah. fetish, I guess you could say, for <laughs> for um, uh, you know, mascots, and then I have my fetish <laughs> for Star Wars, and you know, I just I am like I love all this stuff, and I <laughs> I want to keep everything separate, but then together, yeah. it, it, I highly encourage joining all these other. Facebook groups that are out there, man. I'll I'll have to do that. I'll definitely have to do that. I don't yeah. use Facebook for anything except for bobblehead groups anymore. Yeah, I'll send I'll send you a couple that I'm on, because I'm also a part of the bar. Um, yeah. but I, I'm not really active in them. I just I, I browse. I just lurk in the background like a little creep. And if I if I like <laughs> if I like if I like something, then I'll, I'll message the up. You know, DM someone. Love it. I, ha I have I haven't won a raffle on Facebook. Guys. I've been really I've been uh, winning all of my raffles on Instagram. Uh, I have the worst luck, so I I can't do it. <laughs> you know what? I I I I, I, I did join a, a raffle most recently that um I mean I can't say that I re I regret, but I'm just like, damn, I should have just waited. But um <laughs> yeah. I, I went in pretty yeah, I, went I, in, I went in pretty hard. I, I'm the one that. Bought the most numbers and I lost. Oh, oh. you took eighty percent and still didn't win. And huh? I still didn't win, man. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I just don't want to pay for somebody else. Hey, so what can you tell me about this, dude? That. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that's the other thing too. Hey, what, what, tell me about these. This this Maddox High School piece. This is the only. I want to see the back of it. I want to see the back of it. But what is the back of it? Hold on. Did they this... spell school right? They sold spelled school right. All right, you give me a second. Let's go find mine. Hold on. Let me let me let me find the so ones I, that I have. I, I have several of those. So. This, well, I don't this looks pretty much the What's same, the right? On it things? looks pretty much the same to you, right, Rob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look, look, right. look at how they spelled school. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay, that's okay, cool. Yeah, S cool. You're right. S cool. <laughs> you know, actually, I don't know. That's the only one I have. I don't know a whole lot about them. I thought they were given away by – um in Las Vegas, but I don't know if it was the high school. Yep, yep, there it is. It's the I don't know if it was the high school team or if it was the minor league team okay. out there. It was a high, it was sure a high school. Okay. Okay. So, but the but the so the, the so the, there's there's three of them. What there's one there? that they spelled school correctly. One where they took the school off, and then there's one where okay. Uh, so it, it, yeah. And then, there, then there's a fourth one that yeah, is so completely different from that one. Oh, it's a different pose, right? Yeah, it's a different pose. Yeah. Oh, I've seen that. I've seen that one. I've seen that one. So what's the what's the hot one? I what's the best know one? That. I, I, I think I, who knows that? I, I know someone that does know oh. that. I'm at, we will oh, have okay. to get back to you guys on that one. Kevin may know. <laughs> Kevin's in here. I think Kevin's in here. Well, that was a post. That's the closest brave piece I have. I, for some reason, I have a super shortage on brave stuff, but but uh, I had that. I don't know nothing no, about cool. yeah, it. I, I don't know curious. much about them either. I I think I picked that one up for like twelve bucks or something on eBay. I sniped it, so um, so yeah, that's the only one I have. I do have one where they gave away. Um, I think it says Hall of Fame on the chest. Um, that I think the mm -hmm. the Las Vegas team out there did. So I, I've got I've got that one. The other another cool piece. Just if if I can give you just a real quick story. I I I, I have stories. Um, so on eBay, I found yeah. a um. I found a baseball. Okay, it was signed at, or it was it was listed as a Tom Glavin autographed baseball, and it said Tom Glavin game used autographed baseball. And so I was like, okay. Um, well, I can look at the picture. It was clearly Greg Maddox. It was not Tom Glavin, not at all. Um, and of course, like because it was, it was mislisted, it went for really really cheap. I think I paid fifty bucks for it. Okay. So I get this thing in. It has a sticker right. label on the case that it comes in that says. Greg Maddox 200th win. I was like, that's that's kind of interesting. Wow. And so I pull the baseball out and I'm looking at it. I'm like, you know, that autograph looks really good. I, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I turn it over right beside where they have the commissioner um, signature, and there's a little GM, just a, a little initial down there. I've never seen Greg Maddox initial anything ever, but it was clearly his G and clearly his M. And so that got my my cogs running. Like, wait wow. a minute, how does that work? Well, his 200, if this is true, I mean, and the, the ball looks real roughed up. It, it's it's all it, it, like it had been prepped for a game. And it uh, his 200th win was in 1998. Well, they didn't start doing MLB authentication until either 2000 or 2001. Um, and so I have a yeah. buddy yeah. Or, uh, who, through one of the groups, who was able to, uh, who works with, with like, uh, Maddox's agent to do signings and stuff and I was like I really want to get a question to Greg if there's any way possible to get a question for Greg I want to know did you take baseballs from your 200th win and and initial them like as as almost authentication to say that this was actually from my 200th one when and the answer that came back was yes. No way. I've never seen one anywhere. I've never seen one Whoa. on any kind of auctions or anything. Whoa. So I am fully confident Whoa. that I have a baseball from his 200th win game that it was self authenticated by Greg, which is wow. super duper. That cool. is awesome. Yeah. Wow. That, that that's a cool story. Damn man, that's, that's awesome. crazy. And 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 that's the thing. This this collection's full of that's of of sto stories. I I've gotten so lucky to to get different cool pieces of memorabilia. I have, um, so when Austin Riley, um, who made his debut in 2019, he came up and um, I was able to get a front row seat in the outfield. And so when he, he played left field in that game. So when he and Acuna came out and started throwing the baseball around before his debut, um, when they finished up, uh, Acuna turned around and threw me the baseball. So I have the very first warm up baseball that Austin what? Riley ever used. 
um, in the majors, which is, again, it's not authenticated. It has the practice stamp on it, which is kind of cool. Um, but but it's just a really cool moment. And I, I, I was on Twitter at that point, so I was able to share that story with Twitter, and it was really fun. And he actually, I, I had him sign it later on, which is amazing. Really cool. That's amazing. Hey, that's the stuff. That's what. That's what I yeah. love about collections. That stuff. That that's that's what I like to play. I mean, I get some older stuff that obviously I could. I was I was alive for. You know what I mean? But but those little stories and those little things like that. That's yeah. that's the shit I like to collect. That's what I like to show it up. And then, like you said, you can walk around and talk about it, or you can tell you know tell us here and stuff like that. That's what I love. And that's kind of right. like what bobbleheads are like. Well, and I. That's the I mean? reason why I've been so um, attached to stadium giveaways because for retail bobbleheads, I can't really tell a story how yeah. I, I you know got up at ten at ten a.m. and got on the internet and press buy just in time <laughs> before something sold out. Nobody cares. No. <laughs> but stadium giveaways, look, I've got stories associated with so many of my bobbleheads. Well, we we had a actually. So I've been to the athletic stadium and the Dodgers stadium. We my wife and I took a. Um, a trip out west in 2017. We managed to plan a um, a trip where we got to see six stadiums in nine days. Oh, nice. So we started down in San Diego and wow. worked our way all the way up the coast. We got to see Kershaw pitch on Fourth of July in Dodger Stadium, um, and and so I've got so many. You know, we some we actually I reached out to all the teams that we went to visit and say, hey, this is our third anniversary. We're going to do this cool thing. And about half the teams out there reached out and said, hey, like, let's do this cool thing. Um, the A's actually let us on the field for batting practice, um, which was really, really cool. So so I've got a, a baseball that uh, I think it was Chris Davis um, threw us when we were there kind of behind the rope Very watching good. batting practice. The Seattle Mariners gave me a bobblehead full of Kyle Seegers because I'm a big Kyle Seeger fan because he, he went to Carolina. Um Wow. So I mean, you know, the Angels gave us gave us a bobblehead when we were there because I gave, I told them in the little you know our email that I like bobbleheads. So anyway, like we I've got stories for so many things in this collection, and I I love gosh if when anytime that anyone comes over, I spend like two hours walking through the different cool stories, and I don't even get to everything. Um, that that's why I collect. I I I love that kind of thing. There's there's memories attached to almost everything in this room, and I love it. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's the that's the beautiful thing. About about collecting uh, yeah. not only just bobbleheads, baseball bats. I mean, it, it's an experience. That's why. That's why for me personally, if someone were to ask me SGAs versus retail, I have to go SGA all the way, man. Because I'm going to the stadium. 100%. I'm having fun yep. with the family. I'm, I'm there with the kids, and you know, I may run into a, a, a Hall of Famer. I may run into right. a baseball yeah. player. It's just like the story behind it, and then like. I think the cool thing that Foco is doing, though, is like these moments, bobbleheads, where, you know, everyone, depending on whoever wins the World Series or there's something special or someone does something crazy, we're able to talk about it, you know. But our story is like, damn, I got to wake up at 8 a.m. I got to beat I got to beat everybody <laughs> before they go ahead, go ahead and, uh, you know, get the bobblehead before they sell out. But, yeah, for me personally, SGA is all day. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> It makes sense. I, 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 I agree too. It just, it, yeah. The, the stories. I love the stories. I just love. I love a story behind something. I love a story behind anything. So what's the story behind this one? I see everyone going crazy for this one right here. Yeah. Yes. So I, that's what I mentioned earlier. So that's the Sid Slides bobblehead. Um, it is the so in the 1992 NLCS um, to win the ball game. This guy who was on a bum leg. Um, Sid Bream managed to, uh, they, for some silly reason, gave, you know, gave him the signal to come home and he comes chugging home. And um, so the, the ball was hit out to Barry Bonds and he comes <laughs> in and, and with, you know, he doesn't normally have a bad arm, but he missed it on that one. And on that slide, the Braves won the NLCS and went to the World Series in 92. So, um, I mean, so it's just, it's a big moment in Braves history. The, the radio call, the TBS calls are just absolutely incredible. Um, you know, the, 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 the guys at the time doing that. So I, it's, it's just, it's a moment that any Braves fan who's old enough, which I'm not exactly old enough. I was a very, very small human when that happened. But obviously as a Braves fan, I've seen that clip over and over and over. 
Um, and so it's just a really cool, it's a, and yeah, Brittany's right. Um, I, I do have that one signed by Sid Breen. Oh, that's awesome. Um, nice. The Braves did, you know, the Braves do like alumni Sundays back pre COVID and, and Sid Breen was always one that was really good that would come and, and sign stuff. So I got that signed by Sid. Uh, it's a beautiful bobblehead. I think it's one of the very few triple bobbleheads in my collection, actually. So if, if say, uh, you know, the Braves yeah. were to make another triple bobblehead, what moment? Can you, would you say that they would Ooh. have to make? It? Yeah. Ooh. Because they don't they don't make them like this anymore. They don't make them like this, man. They don't. They don't. No. Most of the time, when you see triple bobbleheads, and actually the Braves did a triple bobblehead last year. Mm -hmm. Well, so technically it was for the year before. So in 2019, um, Ozzy, Ronnie, and Freddie all yep. won a silver slugger, yep. and so they they did a special ticket of that silver slugger bobblehead. But and, and that's cool and all. I they're holding silver bats. That's great. But in terms of a moment, I would have to think about that for a little bit. Um, because I that's the thing that I really want. I want more bobbleheads that signify moments. I don't need a bobblehead of Mike Soroka standing, you know, in a pitching pose or yep. like I want more things that are like the moments that Foco or, that Foco's doing. I, I love of the the you know when the Braves did their championship celebration, you had the re the whole relief, the whole bullpen was up on top of a bus, like catching beers from the audience and and chugging them stone cold style. So um, I mean, you know, something like that, or you know, some something that commemorates a moment would be something I would want. Yeah, yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of a moment. I can't think of one. Is there no. is there a Cox ejection uh, bobblehead? No, that, there should be. That'd be a good one. Like an umpire. There one. should be that. That would that would be a really good one. No, there's they didn't do one with an umpire and and Bobby Cox. That's that's funny though. They should. That'd be a good one. Sure. <laughs> I, I want a Ted Turner, Turner one. one. So yeah, when he uh, when they? he um was over obviously Turner and everything here. There's a couple of bobbleheads um, that were given away as I understand to employees and I don't know how they got them exactly. Um, but so this is my Ted Turner one. He's actually repaired. I'll just give him a little twist. I don't know if you can see where he's repaired, but um, he, anyway, so he's actually repaired. So it says Turner 101 on the bottom, and he's holding a flag called Turner 101, which I suppose means something to employees that worked at Turner. I don't really know, um, but I was really glad to get my hands on one. They tend to be a little difficult yeah. to find. I think that there's a, a variation on this that doesn't say 101 on the bottom, but I'm not totally certain. Um, huh. So yeah, that's all. I TBS and TNT and all that. I remember yeah. Turner all. The Dude, time, I'd love man. to see one because I know he was manager for a game. I want to say it was in the maybe in the eighties or so. They like made him manager for a game. So I'd I'd love to have oh, yeah. a, a bobblehead of him and you know the manager jumping. That's awesome. Maybe, maybe that's your next custom. <laughs> it might be. Maybe I need to do that. That'd be really cool. And you know, it'd be pretty easy to find some other uh, some other bobbleheads because there's there's a bunch of manager type like mm -hmm. jacket bobbleheads too. That's a good idea. We'll add that to the list. Make sure I get one That's of those amazing. Please, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, we we kind of ran over an hour. I know. I'm I'm sorry, my no, internet good. sucked tonight, guys. I'm good. I, and, and Dr. Bob. No, anytime. Um, anything else? Anything else you want to promote, or anything else you got going? I mean, you're promoting the bar. That's great. That's going to be the. I, I wish I. I yeah. I'll see if I maybe I can try yep. to get out there and do well, that. If, if you amazing. do, I'll, I'll give you a. I'll give you the tour of the cave if you if you have a chance to come out here. I'd love to. Um. Oh, oh I'm taking pictures <laughs> with the with the the, well, with the light guy. Go I'm out, we're, staying, we're out. staying there. So. <laughs> well, we might can make that work. Right, right. We're we're having. Like, we're having a little camp out there in the in the in the, yeah. living, in the yeah, basement, for sure. you know. That's awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, hey, Bob. Before you got anything you need, you want to promote yeah, or anything? We're, we're or good to, to go. Uh, uh, so we do have a, a special announcement, though. What's coming into the future of what we're going to do with the shows? Um, just stay tuned. Uh, we do have other guests that are going to come on uh, with us also, but just uh, stay tuned, and we have a lot of good stuff that's coming up. For sure. Uh, I don't have anything. I just wanted to 
Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll have better internet. Hopefully you, you call uh, Xfinity tomorrow <laughs> first thing and get, get that juiced up. Yeah. Uh, hey, Dr. Walter, thanks, man. It was it was a pleasure uh, meeting you in person, or sort of in person, but uh, yeah. not on Twitter. No, thank say. you. Uh, you got an awesome, uh, amazing collection, awesome stories, and uh, it's just, yes. you know, it's cool to hear other people that share the same passion, and it's not about, all about it. You know, it's about the love of the, Absolutely. Love the game. So that's cool. Absolutely, and thank you guys for inviting me on. That was, I think, that was just one of the one of the cool things that I from I started watching the show with you guys. It's clear that you know you guys want to talk about the stories and what you love about the bobbleheads, not the price point and all of that. So I I love that, and so thank thank you guys. No, and no, y'all y'all keep doing yeah. this, I, and I'll I'll keep joining. I I absolutely love these. Love it. Hey, we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna advance. You know, what I mean, we're gonna per, it's gonna advance and, and go through the stages. And we're gonna do other things. Yes. And, and I appreciate you coming on and being one of the first guests. I mean, and, and I knew you could. You know, what I mean, I knew you could tell good stories. I just could feel it and everything else. I mean, we haven't talked before either, but but I, we appreciate you coming on and helping us to do. And I'm and I'm sorry for like jacking up the internet, but the um, but but we're gonna do more things and be more involved. And we're gonna have you back on and stuff like that. Yeah. But we want to involve everybody out there. And, and it's all about collecting. It's not. It's not about. It's not right. about selling and flipping bobbleheads. You know what I mean? It's about it's about coming to right. telling stories and stuff like that. So that's what it's about. Really. I love it. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank yeah. Once again, thank you. Thank cool. you so much. Bye. Right. Thank you, everybody. All right. All right. Peace out, everybody. I love it. Thank you, everybody, for joining and everything else. And uh, I'll be back <laughs> stronger internet next week. So thank you. All right. <laughs> see you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. All right.